Hi, welcome back YouTube as a Mad Fan. This is Mad Money Shot, sniffing out the Mad Cheese as always. I got a play for you today out of the Miami Dolphins playbook. And uh, it's honestly, it's a play I don't even want to really put out there. I'm hoping that this play, I almost don't want this play to get a lot of views because this is by far the glitchiest, cheesiest play um, that I think that I, that I have. Um, and I saw somebody actually ran it on me uh, to the point where I had to figure out how they were doing it um, And so I don't know where they got the play if it's already out there or not You guys can let me know in the comment section, but I'm bringing it to my audience either way um, And like I said, this is a game. This is a game-breaking play I mean, I think this is just if you run this a couple times a game um, You're just gonna pretty much score every time so there's a really simple trick to it The first thing I'm gonna show you is you want to hit R1 and uh, make sure it's your fastest receiver is outside here if you have like this guy here is like a 92 speed Kenny Stills is pretty fast there's a lot faster guys out there if you just put your fastest guy here I could probably put this George the I think this Grant guy right here just <laughs> Jakeem Grant guy is like a complete speed monster so I'll put in there and I'll make this play really crack uh, so let's go ahead we'll pick that I'll pick the first play if you guys want to see more Dolphins by the way let me know uh, by hitting the like button or uh, you know in the comment section or whatever uh, let me know this is actually in response one of my Patreons just came uh, on board there's a tier on my patreon account where you get to pick uh, a play um, you know for uh, for me to make videos about and somebody just did that so this isn't even really in response to that I'm gonna do that one next out of the uh, tight slots open uh, but for now this is something I'm actually getting a lot of requests uh, for the Dolphins and I don't know if it's because people are using this particular play but the play itself is the PA boot over and we'll go ahead and we'll pick that uh, we'll go ahead and we'll go against random nickel now this play right here, I moved the ball back already all, all the way. You want deep, deep space. I mean, I could run this from like the 90, or uh, I could run this from the 10 and throw it 90 yards. That's how crazy this play is. I used to run this just by putting Thomas on a slant, and I still feel that's a pretty good way to run it. Um, he comes open a lot of times, open underneath everything. He didn't catch anything there, and it was a crazy pick animation because Madden's just a jackass. Uh, but that's still not the worst way to run it. But the way that you want to run it now um, is actually all you really want to do is put the put Parker's route, the triangle route, on a slant and uh, that's pretty much it right there you're gonna want as much pass coverage as you can get uh, but you're basically going to uh, just basically rock back um, until you can lob it up this is a cover two and there's just no coverage there at all he's wide open for a score so time is really the issue like I said you just need a little bit of time in the pocket um, and we're gonna go ahead we're gonna pass lead that look at that just wide open he's being covered from behind there's guys outside but there's nobody around him to stop him Need a strong arm QB too. Um, you know that's that's kind of important. As we're gonna throw this behind everybody, let's go. He was kind of in the area, almost, almost, bro. So this play here, uh, we'll go ahead and run it one more, once or twice more. Uh, but we're gonna go ahead. We're gonna pass lead it outside, and we got another easy touchdown. I mean, it's that simple. It's just too easy. Pass leading is kind of important here, though. As you saw, that's what I did there. It was a pass lead. And we're going to wait for him to cross. Pass lead outside again. And it's just an easy touchdown. I mean, this is just game broken. Consider this game broken if you didn't already. All right, so let's go ahead and let's rock this once or twice more. Get a nice, easy cheese. Lob it up touchdown as we're pass leading up. And it's just ridiculous. Um, like I said, this is probably the number one play EA's got to fix. I hope the online play doesn't turn to this play over and over and over uh, but I feel like you know what I got to take care of my people y'all got to have this in your arsenal um, you know what I'm saying this is just easy touchdowns is up I don't know I guess that was a touchdown I really don't know pass leading is really the thing though uh, if it's cover two bullet pass and leading up is really the way to go in this scenario bullet pass and leading outside is really the way to go and he actually kept me out of the end zone but you can still see him getting about 60 yards um, under pressure flicking the wrist you know what I mean? It's like, it's just ridiculous. Uh, as I'm gonna do it again here, pass leading outside, uh, bullet passing, and it's just too goddamn easy. I mean, that, they gotta fix this in this game. So we're gonna go ahead and we'll move on to the next play. Yeah, that is easily the wackest play in this game right now. Um, that's something they gotta fix. You don't really need, any of the other plays I'm gonna show you here, you don't really need because that play's essentially unstoppable uh, aside from sacking the quarterback. Um, they have some pretty good plays though. If you need the inside zones here, <laughs> you know I mean? that's a really good play. Uh, but as far as um, some of the other plays you can run, the inside switch is probably one of the ones I'd wanna show you. Uh, very few adjustments here, we'll go ahead and we'll pick that. Um, I'll keep running from the, in the open side of the field here. You can run uh, this play just like this. Um, I'm not a huge fan of Parker's route. If anything, I like to motion him over and uh, put him on a uh, streak. 
just so I can have uh, him pulling coverage back a little bit for the tight end and the running back because that's really what this play is about. This is kind of like a levels or a Y sale concept, um, but that's really one of the uh, better ways to run it. Um, you can put him on a streak where he is. Oh, my bad. I put the wrong guy. You can put him on a streak where he is, and he'll help to get the uh, circle route open on his side, uh, but that's not nearly as good of a catch and run. I say that, but I got about 15 there. Yeah, you can also put Parker on a drag, and he'll come open underneath Thomas, um, and he'll also help out a little bit. Uh, pulling coverage away from the running back if he gets over there in time um, But there's so much you can do with that one guy. He's the guy I'm pretty much gonna change every time So here I'm gonna go ahead with that uh, little circle route again. I mean he just makes that nice catch and run underneath No coverage is really there if you want to do um, You know if, if you're gonna hard flat that would probably take away Landry But after you saw that first play who the hell is gonna hard flat against this? I mean that would be insane um, here we got a nice little man beater. Nice catch. It was actually right in his hip pocket. Yeah, if you try to hard flat against this after that first play from the same formation, you need a goddamn head examine. So here we got Grant coming open over in the slant. I'm Grant with the slant. Let's go, Ryman. Uh, I'm definitely going to take Grant out, though. This is not really the guy that I want. So here we got that R1 route underneath. Um, you know, a little bit of speed would have been helpful there. Uh, but there's just too many different you know options for plays here who are gonna get that lob to that tight end i know he was sending that free man but you know what it don't matter uh, i saw the man coverage real easy read so i think that's about it like i said a couple of different ways to run you can motion over parker put him on a streak or you can put him on a streak where he is um, or you can put him on a drag where he is a couple different ways you can run it uh, but like i said who really needs these other plays any damn way uh, and then the running back just seems to be open pretty much every time regardless and he's a workhorse man he's just trying to run people over so let's go let's move on to the next play um, the tight end corner is the next play that I'm going to go over. We'll go ahead and pick that first. And then we'll go uh, random nickel. This play right here, you can run this a couple different ways. I like motioning over Parker to an extent. I think that he works really well uh, across from Thomas. You just have a really good, um, you know, two-level concept there. Uh, I also like putting uh, Grant here on a, uh, I didn't mean to put him on that, I meant to put him on a drag. Um, he'll come open underneath everything. A couple different things you can do right there. Really good, a uh, couple of options. Um, you can also leave it just like this and uh, put uh, Grant on a streak and he'll help to uh, pull coverage back. Hopefully if it's like a cover three, uh, the circle route will come open uh, underneath that. Um, I also like to put a Jai here on uh, one of these, a little out route, and he'll play off of Thomas pretty good. Um, you can also motion him out too, which I accidentally motioned over the, uh, <laughs> I motioned over gray there, uh, which is an accident, but you can motion him out too. If you think it's going to be a cover two, say somebody's been running a lot of cover two, uh, motioning out the running back in this particular route will help to get Thomas open a lot of times. It'll pull coverage. Um, you could also put him on a uh, zig route and that'll help pull coverage even better. I think the zig route is one of the better cover two pullers. If that cornerback's in the cover two, uh, the zig route will hold him down uh, a little bit longer. As I get that cover two look and I get it to that tight end first play, because uh, like I said, that just makes, that zig route really has an effect on, uh, on cover two corners. But you know, to make it really simple, a lot of times I just like the slant grant. Uh, then you have two levels of uh, receiving here, as you see Gray, who's actually a tight end by the way. I forgot to change him back to receiver. Uh, but Gray's a tight end because uh, the running play that I showed in the last video, um, you had the option. Uh, Grant's also like a really booty receiver. Like I, I, I keep changing the personnel and not putting good players back. So uh, like I said, a couple different ways you can run this. This running back here, I wish he was a little bit faster. We got the power there going. <laughs> I just seen me use the truck that guy. It didn't give me a little pop-up though. Uh, but this is a really good play. There's a couple different ways to run it. I did not do uh, the this way yet. Um, I don't really like doing Grant on a slant because you see when I motioned him over that Grant actually stepped up a little bit and it just changes the spacing enough that I'm not really a fan of it. So that's why I said, uh, I just totally messed that up. That's why, like I said, I totally like to put uh, Grant here on a drag. Even in this play like this, it's not too bad, but I find motioning this guy over, um, like I said, if it's a cover two or something like that, he's a really good look. Uh, you know, and then it just plays off of the tight end really well. Uh, but I still like putting Jai in this. Sometimes you need to keep him back as a pass blocker, but that's really up to you. Um, it looks like we've got a man here, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to float. Thomas, uh, get that, you know, get that easy catch and run. But that drag to Grant's really good. You can just see how, um, you know, he comes open underneath everything. Uh, we'll go ahead and run a couple times. I haven't actually thrown to him yet. Uh, but let's go ahead and let's see if we can get that drag. Like I said, there's just nothing there. And then you have, if I would have ran behind my blocker, I could have ran behind the running back if I had my option to. But yeah, it doesn't matter. They're double covered, triple covered. 
kiss my ass. So we're going to go ahead with that circle round <laughs> as we got the man coverage right there. And uh, really good play. So, like I said, a lot of different ways. We'll go ahead and we'll move on. Um, the, I don't know if I mentioned, you can put the running back on a streak and then put him out too. I don't know if I mentioned that or not. I think I said put him on a uh, on a zig route, but um, but that's a good option. So here we got another man coverage. So I'm going to get that. You know, like I said, that zig route or that's, that streak route pulls everything back. Tight ends open underneath it. It's an easy way to go. So let's go. Let's move on. If you more help or just want to show your support, then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like eBooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.